Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on a get ready with me for encampment. So I've already kind of started getting ready and I was like, stop, stop what you're doing. Let's start recording. So we're two days out or a little more than 30 hours out. So I leave on Friday. It's Wednesday night right now. It's go time. Um, I'm the set commander, so I'm in charge of a lot of the uniform bunk inspections. I'm running games. I'm in charge of six of the people. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but right now, so far what I've done is laundry, I've done some ironing, right now I'm sewing on patches and just kind of getting everything together. I've kind of gone shopping to get more shoe polish, just that kind of like logistical things and I've been working several days in advance just starting to think about exactly what I need. Um, there's been lists that have been months old of ideas, thoughts, things I'm going to need. So, um, here I have my pants. These are about to be ironed. I did laundry already so I have both abu and bdu shirts and then it's go time right now working on that stuff i'm also printing stuff that kind of stuff so i am now 14 hours from leaving um since everything's been done i've been shining shoes Ooh, look how nice they are um printing stuff i'm still waiting to iron i have to pick up my uniform tonight um then i'm gonna finish ironing and kind of packing um i pretty much have what I'm bringing right over here. This is something I've always kind of done is I put things that go in certain things. So like this goes in my backpack. So anything that goes in my backpack goes in this little pile right here. I think it makes it a lot easier. Um, just my encampment shirts, got ABU shirts here, BDU shirts, and PT shirts all there. Socks in the back, toiletry bag, food bag, first aid kit. I'll kind of run you through everything once I kind of laid out. Um, here's the other thing I really have is a box of randoms, or a bag of randoms. It has Velcro for shoulder boards, it has everything. Just kind of throw it all in there. Always bring that with me. Over here got some pants, pants, more pants. Um, and I sewed on my insignias last night. So, ooh, look how nice they look. Um, the back side isn't so pretty, but those are all on and ready to go. So until tomorrow, I need to put everything in the bags. I'm gonna have a hanging garter bag that's kind of going to have most of my clothes and then things will go in those pockets. My main bag will kind of have a lot more of like the logistical stuff because um, I'm gonna bring my megaphone and my little filing cabinet for papers. Um, so those are my two things that I'm actually gonna bring and then I'll have my camel back in my bag and I'll have one separate for, I'll have a stuff bag for my pillow, blanket and sleeping bag. So I have three bags that I take with me and then I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So, we got stuff to do. Okay, so this is what I have right now. Um, shoes, polished, everything on my nice blues. They're nice and put together. Um, here's kind of just all the stuff. I have clipboards, paper, pens and pencils, random, like, not cleaning, but like, office supplies, hair nets for girls. Um, extra backers and rubber bands to be used as blousing bands. First aid kit, ABU belt, shoe polishing kit, um, like sh string remover type excess, I don't know what it's called. Um, we got foot powder. Here's my bag of extra random stuff. Sunscreen, yardstick, garters. Here's my pile of blues. Um, cord, pantyhose, cover. Here's everything that's going to go in my backpack. So I have a bag of food, a bag of cough drops, clipboard, um, sewing kit because I'm going to sew on some signals when I get there, um, flashlight, hand sanitizer, tape, another tape, flashlight, headlight, whistle, bug repellent, um, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, ruler, regular sized, hygiene bag, just kind of has hair bands. Here's like all my bobby pins and all that stuff. Um, deodorant. This little bag will kind of house some of that stuff. Down there I have shampoo, conditioner, soap, that kind of things, razors. And then I always bring a huge hairspray. Blue shoes, BDU shirts for PT and for BDUs, ABU shirts, blues, under blue shirts, I don't use v-necks, PT pants, BDU, ABU socks, PT socks are in there as well. Here we have all my undergarments. Here my towel, shoes, this is what I'm um, my hanging bag. Um, BD pants, AB pants, BD pants, blouse. D 
Down here, this is kind of all my set stuff. There's a bunch of papers in there. Here's my backpack that I'm gonna wear most of the time. Everything that's in this thing right here, this little cardboard thing, goes in there. That will end up going in there. That'll be my one big bag, and that will hold both of these. And everything else will either go in there, like my uh, towel and that kind of stuff, or I will go in here with like my hanging stuff, and then this has a pocket here and two pockets over here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense as to how I've put everything in. Everything just ended up going into those two bags. The only things that didn't fit are my yardstick, um, and I just kind of carried that with me. On the way back, I was a lot less organized with packing, so my backpack actually didn't fit into that big bag, um, which really wasn't a big deal because it was just an extra little backpack to just carry with me. Um, that's pretty much how I've done things always, um, usually the three bags. My main tip is get a stuff sack so that your sleeping bag, blanket, and pillow can all go together. And then if you need extra room while packing, get out your uh, ironing board. I do it all the time. I'm actually doing it right now and I'm packing for another activity. Um, you need extra space to lay things out or to fold things and iron things. And it works so easy if you just get out an ironing board. So if you have any questions on what to bring to an encampment, how all this runs, how to do all this stuff, leave it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond to those. Sorry guys, there hasn't been a lot of videos, but hopefully this makes up for it. And you'll see a nice video and like a bottom up. So, until then, thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.